philosophy. Today I'm going to be talking about my big three pieces of gear. So my big three are going to be my backpack, my sleep system, and my shelter system. So I'll start off with my backpack. I have got the Exos 58. Um, this is a unisex backpack, so I got the size small. I think it's going to be really great. It's really lightweight. It's a good in-between backpack if you are not spending the big bucks on things like Z-Packs. I got a really good deal on this from REI and I'm really excited about it. So hopefully it will be a good pack. I'll do some updates on it out on the trail. Um, I really like that it's just one big compartment. Um, I can also detach the brain of the pack if I want to and it's got a cover ready to go or I can keep this on which I probably will during the winter and maybe take it off in the summer when I've got less gear. So that is my pack. Next I will talk about my sleep system. I'm going to be using the Z Light Thermarest um, foam pad. I got the short version so it's not quite long enough for my body. I'm five foot four so my feet kind of just hang off the end um, and I'll probably just have my backpack under there or something to provide some extra insulation but super lightweight and it has this perfect slot right under my backpack where I can tighten it right at the bottom where it's gonna stay on the outside of my pack. Um, this is also really nice because I can take it out and kind of use it as a seat in the middle of the day if I don't wanna go digging into my pack. Uh, so it's just really convenient that I don't have to be inflating the inflatable sleeping pads and rolling it up and stuffing it back in. I did that a lot in previous backpacking and I found it really tedious, so I'm really looking forward to the convenience of just popping this out, popping it back in, and being good to go. Next, I'm going to talk about my sleeping bag. So this is my winter sleeping bag. It is the REI Co-op Magma 17 Women. So it is a 17 degree bag. I'll pull it out and show it to you guys. Um, I've used it once before. It kept me super warm and toasty. I really like it. Um, and it is a big bag and it's amazing how much it compacts. It is a down bag and it's filled with water resistant down. So that's going to keep it a little extra dry in case it gets wet, but I'm probably going to be keeping this in a dry bag. So that is my winter sleeping bag. Once it gets a little warmer, I will be switching out my sleeping bags. This is a budget sleeping bag that I got off of Amazon. It's super lightweight. I purchased this on the recommendation of Darwin on the Trail, so shout out to Darwin. Um, I'm actually going to be testing this out tonight in my backyard in my tent, which I will get to shortly. So this bag is supposed to be a 30 degree bag. So that is what I will be testing tonight because it is supposed to get down to approximately 31, 32 degrees here tonight. So dipping close to that 30 degrees, it's also a down filled bag and this thing gets incredibly compact. I'll have to show you guys um, these bags and their stuff sacks later, but this will shrink down to about this size. It's pretty incredible. And then what I've also got as a part of my sleep system that will be with me either part of the way or some of the way, it just kind of depends. This is a Sea to Summit Thermolite um, short sleeping bag liner. So this will go, it's supposed to add up to, they say up to, so I don't really know what that means, up to 20 degrees of warmth. So tonight I'm going to try out my summer sleeping bag if I get cold, which I'm expecting I will. I will be using this Thermarest um, sleeping bag liner that's going to go inside of the sleeping bag. I also have, in case of emergency, now this would be some pretty extreme emergencies. If a storm comes out of nowhere, I'm not close enough to anything, don't have time to set up camp or whatever. If it just gets really cold, even inside my tent, this is a soul survive outdoors and longer is what that stands for emergency bivy i got this on amazon it's super lightweight i think it's something like three ish ounces four ounces um, and it compacts this small and it rolls out and i can fit this over my whole sleeping bag 
and it's supposed to reflect back up to 90% of your body heat. So because I'm starting in the winter, um, I really want to be prepared for those super cold nights. I think my 17 degree bag plus my liner is gonna keep me toasty on the majority of nights, but every now and then it could get really cold or something could happen and I just wanna be prepared for that, um, particularly at the beginning in those really cold temperatures. So now I will move on to my tent, which I totally set up kind of backwards. So I'm gonna have to bring you around to the door to show you inside of it. Um, this is the REI, I think it's um, the Quarter Dome One. Um, this is a really good budget tent for a one person lightweight, maybe intro to backpacking. I've used it other times, I really like it. I actually used to have a big Agnes tent, but there were things I didn't like about that tent, so I switched over. I will maybe do another video on that later. But so far, I've really liked this tent. It's super easy to set up, and it's pretty spacious on the inside. There we go. Moved around the tent stake. Okay. So this just opens up right like this. Um, you can use it without the rain fly, and it's super airy, really nice. One of the things I really like about it is that you can pop open this vent so that it helps um, prevent some moisture from gathering in there, or if it's really cold and windy, you can just close it. And you can actually access that from inside the tent, so you don't even have to get out to do that. So that's just a really cool feature. Um, yeah, so those are going to be my big three gear choices. Um, stay tuned for another video and review of my summer sleeping bag, which I don't think I mentioned um, the name of it. It is the Aegis Max sleeping bag. It's the 30 degree sleeping bag. Um, I want to say it's 16 ounces, but I will update weights of those later. So. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for me camping out in my backyard tonight. Bye.